Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today, we celebrate the memorial of Blessed Alfonso Navarrete, priest of the Order of Preachers and Companions, who were martyred in Japan. Fifty-nine of them were members of the Dominican family, and fifty-eight were members of the Rosary and Holy Name confraternities. The head of this group of martyrs is the Spanish Dominican, Blessed Alfonso Navarrete, the vicar of the Dominican missions in Japan. He joined the order in 1571, and after finishing his theological studies, was sent to the Philippines. Fired with zeal for the gospel, he earnestly begged to be sent to Japan. His request was finally granted in 1611. His brief ministry in this country was marked by his great charity and solicitude to the poor. He was known as the Vincent de Paul of Japan. When persecution broke out in 1617, he and an Augustinian companion were seized while on their way to help the Christians in Omura. A big number of martyrs suffered in Omura and Nagasaki, Japan, in the years 1614 until 1632. Among them was Alfonsus Navarrete. The Vicar Provincial of the Brethren of Preachers, who by the command of the chief military leader, Tokugawa Ieyasu, suffered a strong blow on his head that killed him. In 1867, Pius IX, Pius IX solemnly numbered them among the blessed, for they suffered together in the same era and in the same place. We will now, we will now have the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, you fill the hearts of peoples who did not know you with the knowledge of your only begotten Son. Through the preaching of your holy martyrs, Alphonsus and companions, through their prayers, may you know confirm those same peoples in the faith. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. My beloved sons, Avoid idolatry. I am speaking as the sensible people. Judge for yourself what I am saying. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the love of bread is one. We, though many, are one body. For we all partake 
of the one of. Look at Israel, according to the flesh. Are not those who eat the sacrifices participants in the altars? So, what am I saying? That meat sacrificed to idols is anything? Or that an idol is anything? No, I mean that we, that we, they sacrifice, the sacrifices to demons, not to God. And I do not want you to become participants with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and also the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and of the table of demons. Or are we provoking the Lord to jealous anger? Are we stronger than him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Please stand. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from bumbles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good. But an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but do not do what I command? I will show you what someone is like who does to come to me. Listen to my words and act on them. That one is like a man building a house, who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood came, the river burst against the house, but could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who listens does not act is like a person who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river bursts against it, it collapsed at once and was completely destroyed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Welcome po sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Napakaganda po ng ating Ibanghelyo sapagkat madaling maintindihan. Bukod po sa maganda. Sabi nga, sa bunga nakikilala ang puno. Iba? Alam naman po natin na ang puno ng saging kailanman ay hindi mamumunga ng bayabas. Ang bayabas po o ang puno ng bayabas kailanman ay hindi mamumunga ng saging. 
sapagkat ang puno ng saging, ang kanyang bunga ay saging. Ang bayabas, ang puno ng bayabas, ang magiging bunga po niya ay bayabas. So kung anong puno, siya rin ang bunga. <clears throat> Sa ating pamilya po, kapag ang ama o yung tatay ng tahanan ay mabuting ama, Tandaan ninyo, yung mga, magiging, yung mga anak niya o magiging anak niya, mga mabubuti din. No? Makikita nila kung gaano kasi pag ang kanilang tatay, ang ama, tutularan nila yon. Kaya di ba minsan, sabi nga sa patalastas noon, sabi noon, ang nakikitang ng mga bata, kahit ito ay mali sa mata ng bata, nagiging tama. So kung may mga anak kayo sa so mga tatay dito, medyo careful din tayo kasi baka gayahin tayo ng ating mga anak. Ano? Pag-ingat-ingat po ng konti. Ganun din naman po ang isang ina ng tahanan. Kapag ang isang ina ay mapagmahal sa kanyang mga anak at naramdaman ng mga anak niya la, tandaan nyo paglaki ng mga anak na yun, maalala na yung pagmamahal ng kanilang ina. Dahil yun ang naramdaman nila. Sapagkat ang mga anak ay bunga ng kanilang mga magulang. Ano? So kapag ang magulang ng ama at ina mapagpahalaga sa edukasyon, tingnan nyo yung mga anak nila. Talagang pagtatapusin, igagapang ng mga magulang. Di ba? Kahit hindi na bumili yung mga magulang na kanilang mga bagong damit, bagong bag, Magtitiis ang mga yan para lang sa kanilang mga anak. Para lang mapagtapos. Doon nga, nauuso pa yung uh, magbebenta ng mga alagang kalabaw, baka, para lang may pang tuition fee. Doon po yun, ha? Ewan ko lang ngayon kung uso pa po ngayon yun. Pero ganun nga, ho. Ano? Pero kung minsan, sa mga magulang natin, doon din naman natin namamana yung mga sakit-sakit natin, no, ho? Minsan, diabetic, ganyan. Namamahala din natin niya kasi yun yung puno natin eh. Gaya ng pamilya namin, medyo diabetic po ang pamilya namin. Kaya, ingat-ingat din po ako. No? Uh, Mag-iingat-ingat din ako sa pagkain ko ng asukal, mga ganyan. Ganon din naman po, high blood. ba diba? Minsan, namamahala din natin yan. So, kung ano ang puno, sa din ang bunga. Pero pwede din naman natin ilabas sa pamilya. Sa school, sa mga guro, kapag ang guro, meron po bang guro dito? Kapag, kapag ang teacher magaling magturo, yung mga komplikadong topics o lectures, naging simple para sa kanya, para sa akin magaling yun. Pag magaling talaga ang teacher, ganun talaga. Pero minsan, naalala ko nung estudyante ako nung grade school, nauso pa yun yung elementary, hindi ko lang alam yung uso pa. O baka may nakakaalala dito. Pag halimbawa, ang estudyante hindi makapagbasa, bawa grade 4 na, o kaya hindi marunong mag-multiply, mag-divide, minsan yung teacher tinatanong, sino yung teacher mo noong grade 3? <laughs> Mga ganon. Siyempre sa takot mo na mapahiya yung teacher mo noon, hindi ka tayo makapagsalita. Di ba ganon? Naalala nyo ba yon Yung mga grade school noon? Ewan ko ngayon kung ginagawa pa yon ha? Minsan pagka uh, hindi nga makapagbasa, grade 5 na, ang CCCA yung teacher mo nung nauna sa kanya. Mga gano'n, nauuso yun. Pero okay din naman, at least, nakikita nga, sabi nga kung ano po no, siyang bunga, kung saan ka naggaling, sino yung ano mo, teacher mo nun? Oh, Di ba, may gano'n eh. Minsan naman sa mga leader, napansin nyo yung mga leader, hindi lang naman sa gobyerno, sa simbahan din. O kaya naman, leader sa kumpanya. Pansin ninyo, kapag ang leader na sinusunda natin, o leader sa simbahan, leader sa school, o sa mga leader, sa si isang mga religious groups, o kung may mga bikers club kayo, kapag ang leader ay punong-puno o magaling ang kanyang pananaw, malayo ang kanyang pagtanaw, o may visionary siya, magkakaroon ng direksyon yung mga members niya. Pero bakit ganun? Pag ang ang leader, kung ano mang group tayo, pag hindi sa ay kabado, sa ay takot, walang plano, yung mga members parang nagkakagulo, aligagadin. 
Kasi nga, kung ano ang puno, so hindi na magiging bunga niya. Kung ang puno o leader, eh, ganun, huwag ka mag-expect na yung mga magiging miyembro niya, eh, magiging maganda, may direksyon. Siyempre, hindi. So, ganun talaga. Tayo pong lahat ay anak ng Diyos sa ating spiritual na buhay. Sa pamamagitan po ng binyan, tayong lahat ay mga anak ng Diyos. Kaya di ba pag nagdarasal tayo ng Ama namin, inaangkin natin ang ating Panginoon ay ang ating Ama. No? Ating Ama. At tayo yung mga bunga niya. At ang Diyos po ay pag-ibig. Ang Diyos ay pagmamahal. God is love. Kaya tayo ngayon, tumatanggap ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. ba diba? Naramdaman nyo naman ho sigurin, ano? Sabagat ang ating Panginoon ay puno ng pag-ibig. Kaya nga, ba diba, sabi nga po sa gospel, sa gospel natin, sabi niya ang Panginoon, For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. Dahil sa pagmamahal ng Diyos, He gave up His only Son, Jesus Christ. Ibinigay niya yung kanyang bugtong na anak para sa atin. para tayong lahat ay maligtas. Kaya ang ating Diyos ay puno, puno ng pagmamahal. Kaya yun po, kaya tayo bumabalik-balik dito eh. Kasi tayo nakaramdam ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. ba? Diba? Naramdaman natin yung pagmamahal. Kaya kung ikaw ay hindi nagmamahal, walang pag-ibig, ano kayang Saan ka kaya galing na puno? Galing. Puno, ah, puno. Hindi puno. Iba yung puno, gaya ng ating mahal na birhen. Puno ng grasa. Ibig sabihin, full. Pero yung puno, ito yung tree. No? Tree. So kayo, tanong nyo rin po sa sarili nyo. Ako din, tinatanong ko rin sarili ko. Meron kaya akong pagmamahal? Puno kaya ako ng pagmamahal? At pag tinanong ko yon Pag ako'y puno ng pagmamahal, ibig sa minsan ang galing yon, Siyempre sa puno. At sino nga ba yung puno natin? Ang ating Panginoon. ba? Diba? Puno natin ay ang ating Panginoon. Kaya tayo nagmamahal dahil ang Diyos ay ang ating puno ng pagmamahal. Okay? Sige po, magsitayo na po tayong lahat. Holding on faithfully to the gospel which... urge us to build our spiritual house on solid rock. Let us make our prayer to the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always be seen as the steady and secure house built on strong rock foundation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in this confusing world, Leaders of nations may deal with their citizens honestly and candidly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the training and formation of young people may be grounded on the values of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people suffering from mental and physical anguish may remain steadfast and secure on the rock of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our dear departed relatives and friends may find peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, give us the grace to understand our lives, depend upon the goodness, honesty, and courage of fellow human beings, so that we may be mindful of their needs and aware of our responsibilities. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Let's 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, as we celebrate the Eucharist on this feast of your martyrs and our brothers Alphonsus and companions, accept the gifts of bread and wine for your glory and our salvation we ask this through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for the blood of your blessed martyr alphonsus poured out like christ to glorify your name, show forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon like them like the Jew Paul so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave, to, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, uh, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and in his name and with him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Lord, you nourish us at your holy table on the feast of our martyred brother, Alfonso's and companions. As we have renewed the loving sacrifice of your son, bring us to the unending peace of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawak, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak will be on October 2, 2022. We'll invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters of, for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawakminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the Electronic Souvenir Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. Muli po kami po'y nagpapasalamat sa lahat po ng mga dumalo sa ating banal na misa. At ka, uh, mag-ingat po sa pag-uwi sa lahat po ng mga pumunta pa po dito galing sa Malayo, sa South, sa North, at mga dito po. Ingat po tayo sa pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, crucifix, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.